What's going on champs and champettes, it's FireMonkey here and Chapter 5 Season 2 has officially released so in today's YouTube video we'll be going through all of the brand new cosmetics added in this update including, you know, a few interesting little tidbits for people who are very excited about some Fortnite lore and everything like that but of course this is going to be a much much longer video because we're going to be going through every single battle pass page then we'll be going through the locker and doing all that type of stuff so you know, stay tuned, we got a lot of stuff to get through in today's video but this has been a jam packed update so to start off today's video, let's start off by talking about jam packs. We are going to be getting two brand new jam bundles released in the item shop very, very soon. The first one is going to be a Juice World jam track bundle, which is going to be very exciting for Tate if you guys you guys know one of the people on the channel. And then the other one is going to be a Maroon 5 jam pack bundle, or yes, you know, jam track bundle. So that's very interesting to see, but it has been a very, very crazy chaotic update. Now let's talk about some of the other stuff that's kind of been going down here with all of the brand new news. Firstly, here's the brand new battle pass. We got a brand new loading screen right here. We got the Shade Ripper pickaxes right here, which look very, very cool. We got the Bork 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 animated emoticon. The Cerberus Bite Wrap, which is animated and reactive. Now, as you can see right here, I can uh, actually trigger it, and it makes a little glow show up right there. Looks pretty, pretty cool. Let's see. Can we swing the pickaxe? Yeah, we can. We can go ahead and swing that as well. You can see the nice little animation it's got going on. We got 100 V-Bucks. The Shadows Bite Glider. Oh, man! That intro, look at that. The little, like, door in the back opens up, and the glider actually comes out of it. That is super sick. We have Hayden's Gate as a back bling. This one has a little bit of an animation, but nothing too crazy about it. The Shade Blocks emote right here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. You know, pretty simplistic emote, but I like it. We have the Cerberus skin, which is included with your Battle Pass purchase. We have the Rise of the Pantheon loading screen. This banner icon right here. A style for the Immortal Shade Rippers that makes it kind of like a golden theme. 100 more V-Bucks. A style for the back bling right here. A golden version of the glider, which I think looks super duper sick as well. I wonder if you stand on top of it or you're like... Actually, wait. Oh no, I see the handles at the bottom. You mean to tell me that you're going to be holding onto the bottom of the bike? That, that that sucks a lot. Okay, whatever else. But we have the Immortal Cerberus variant right here. If we go over to page 3, we start getting to Aphrodite, which has that loading screen. We have the selfie shot animated emoticon, which counts down from 3 and then shows a little icon. The heart fall actual contrail right here, which I think looks super sick. And okay, it's got a nice little heart poof that comes as you're going and gliding down. Another banner icon. A a wrap that does not have any animation or anything to it, but is very shiny. The Hearts Carver pickaxe right here has a nice little heart particle hit effect. Looks pretty cool. We have the Aphrodite skin herself right there, looking all dapper and everything else. On the next page, we have the Immortal Aphrodite loading screen, which for people curious about this, this is a brand new variant for the skin. Uh, that's the only reason I really showed in full screen, because we'll look at all the loading screens a little bit later in the video. We have this variant for the back bling. We have a special little spray. A variant for the pickaxe as well, which I'll go ahead and swing it real quick. You can see that it is kind of similar, but slightly different. We have the Immortal Heartwinder Glider. Now, I'm not for sure how you actually get the normal glider, because it's not in this first page right here. Maybe it's bundled with another reward or something, or maybe you get the style first, but it is something to see. We have the Sweet Sing Emote, which I think looks super duper sick. Actually, you know what? That's very just, like, neat in a way. Can we see the heart fully? No, you can't really see the heart fully. It looks like it has a weird little, like, glitch. Oh, it's because a little, like, heart storm going on above but that looks really really nice i like the design here it kind of reminds me of the ariana grande concert if you remember in the background when she was on the swing but next up we have the immortal aphrodite skin variant right here which looks pretty sick next page we got the poseidon loading screen we got the swim free jam track and music pack i mean it, it's interesting I take that back. I I don't know if I like it or if I hate it, but th that's that's a thing, I guess. You know, it's 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 one of the things in there. We have the Tritonus Waves animated emoticon right here, the Cozy Conch back bling, which is actually reactive. I'm not for sure how it's reactive. Maybe whenever you take damage or something, if we wait long enough. Oh, I skipped off of it. Never mind. We have the Break Short Trident pickaxe right here with a nice little animation. 
as we continue on we have the actual poseidon skin himself right here which is a meme skin this time around we have the immortal poseidon loading screen the banner icon a murktide version of the wrap which i really like how they actually make these variants have their own wrap designs as well because they don't really do wrap variants but they still allow you to do those mix and match combos we have the do you even slurp bro spray for some reason the 100 v bucks we're getting to tier 32 the conch call emote which is supported in lego fortnite as well look at that that's just that's just adorable okay so a little little like ripley crab is the ripley crab yep the ripley crab goes back inside we have a mortal poseidon as a variant right there on the next page we get ourselves the medusa loading screen 100 more v bucks the stony gg animated emoticon we have the gorgon's agus back bling with a little bit of like a glow going on with the eyes there the gorgon blade pickaxes right here which if we swing it real quickly you can see it has a nice little blue little hit effect we get the snake eyed spray the Medusa skin herself right here, which has a very nice little theme going on with her. Get the Gorgon Warrior Medusa loading screen, the Serpentine Summoning emote that can be done on any character, and is supported in LEGO Fortnite as well. That looks super sick, actually. Hold up. We have the banner icon right here. A animated and reactive Serpent's Eye wrap, which if we go ahead and shoot, or well, actually we can't shoot it, that's a little weird, but it is reactive and animated. You can see right there the eye kind of like blinks in the odd way, so that is thing to keep in mind. 100 V-Bucks, the Warrior's Gorgon Blade with a different style. I wonder, is the hit going to be blue still? Nope, it's a purple hit. Nice to see that they have that attention to detail there. The Gorgon Warrior Medusa variant right there. On the next page, we're getting to the top 50 levels and everything else. We got Zeus, got the Stormy Descent loading, or not loading screen, but Contrail. And I do got to admit, they're doing a lot of crazy work with these little particles and emotes and Contrails now. And it makes it look super sick. I hope they keep up the work on this type of stuff, because that just looks really cool. The Shockin' animated emoticon, where you can shock Jonesy. We have the Thunderous Aegis backbling right here, with actual different variants. However, I'm not very sure how we're going to see selectable styles. We have the Grand Olympus guitar that you can actually use in the Fortnite festival that's right instruments are now going to be in the battle pass we have the thunder and lightning glider right here which is usable on every single character and is literally you just kind of riding on thunder and lightning we have the zeus skin right here of course all of these also support the lego mode and everything else we got the conqueror's zeus loading screen we got 100 v bucks we have the tempest flight traversal emote that you can use on any skin once again and this is traversal meaning you can go forwards while doing this which i think is super sick we have the thunder clap actual animated wrap right here which if we shoot it you can see how the thunder kind of reacts on the wrap we have the bolt blades with selectable styles now if you go ahead and swing these you can see how it's basically just electricity it looks super sick 100 more v bucks the conqueror zeus skin right there page 11 we're getting close to the end we have artemis right here the Huntress Ames Spray, the Arrow Point Carver Pickaxe right here, which I almost said was a bow or something, but you know what? It's kind of, it says right there, not a bow. You can't really see it, but it's below my little icon. Uh, we have the Starry-Eyed Artemis Animated Emote right here. We have the Huntress Liar uh, Back Bling, as you can see. It has a little nice galaxy effect going on with it. The Moonlit Mystery Emote, which I think is super sick and is actually an animated emote. Okay. Huh. Okay. I'm fine with that. That's pretty cool. We have the Artemis skin right here with a nice little galaxy theme going on. On the next page, we get to the Immortal Artemis version with a lot of, you know, mortally red themed things, such as the liar right there. We have this banner icon. We got the pickaxe right here, which we'll go ahead and swing real quickly for you, which has a nice hit effect with like constellations and everything. The Immortal Moonbow Freezer Glider right here, which I think is super cool. A hundred more V-Bucks and the Immortal Artemis variant for the skin, which I prefer to be completely honest i think it looks sick then we go over to hades so we got the hades loading screen the shadow smoke control which once again has a lot of crazy effects going on and looks really unique compared to what we've seen before we got 100 v bucks the underworlder bass instrument right here we have hayden's key as a pickaxe right here which we can go ahead and swing real quickly you can see the little hit effect we have the Elysium wrap, which is actually reactive. If we shoot it, you can see how the reactivity actually affects the wrap right there. And we have the Hades skin. And then on the final page, we go to the Immortals Hades variant with this snake bite key ring back bling or whatever else you want to say right there. We have the Underworld Rock animated emoticon. We have ourselves the You're All Mine e uh, lobby music, which is also a jam track. 
Kind of spooky, kind of on the spooky side. A little bit different than the one we just heard moments ago, but still is something that's there. I'll let it play for a moment here, you know, a few seconds and everything else. I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but you know, it's an interesting little music pack you got there. Got the Hadean's Chariot Glider, which does look like you either ride in the back here or maybe you're like surfing on the horse. I think you'll be in the back, but that is super interesting to see. And it's nice to see that we don't just have some handlebars underneath the horse, right? It's nice to see that like even under the chariot, there's no handlebars, right? So you have to be riding on top of it somewhere. 100 more V-Bucks, the Dark Transformation built-in emote right here, which is super sick. You can see it does that nice transformation right there. And then if we go to the bonus rewards, you get the Heartwinder Glider, the normal version of it, 100 more V-Bucks, the Gorgon Warriors Aegis Backbling Variant, the Hunting Ground Lobby Music plus Jam Track. It's got a nice little liar design going on with it and everything else. We got the Magnetic or Magmatic Poseidon skin right here. I don't know why I said Poseidon like that. We got the Breakshore Hammer Pickaxe Variant right here for the actual Poseidon Pickaxe that we've seen before. We have a Magma Wave animated wrap to go on with the variant as well. The Stellar Barrage Contrail, which I actually haven't seen before, but oh, okay. All right, you know, it's it's more of a simplistic one, but I can definitely see that matching with some combos, like some galaxy-themed combos and everything. 100 V-Bucks, the Immortal Zeus skin right here, which also has a variant, you know, just for all that type of stuff, all the different options. The Eternal Hunt animated wrap, which I like, you know, I'm just a sucker for galaxy-themed things. We got the Olympians loading screen, 100 new V-Bucks. We got ourselves the Heartrest Back Bling and the Elysian Artemis variant, which is a very unique design. On page four, we get ourselves the Lithian Chariot Glider right here, which has a different little color scheme you kind of got going on there. A hundred more V-Bucks. The Gorgonic mic Microphone for Fortnite Festival. We get ourselves a hundred more V-Bucks. And then the Lithian Hades actual skin style. Now, this has a second reward. I'm not for sure what it actually is. Oh, actually, no, you can see it right there. It's just a different version of that variant. But it is nice to see that they've got all that stuff. And then, you know, three pages of hidden rewards. In the Crest Rewards, tab we have the moon Bray, moonbow breezer glider right here we got ourselves a banner icon got ourselves the flash of lightning reactive wrap which we can go ahead and shoot real quickly you can see how it kind of works the blazing fire cerberus skin variant right here but this time around they're doing it a little bit odd because page two and page three are completely hidden so who knows what's going on there for Korra, we only have the skin that we can really see right now but it will be getting a total of 12 different rewards for you to actually use once the cosmetics actually release and once the update and everything else comes out so with that said i think that's enough for the battle pass actually i kind of I remembered that I told you guys I would show you what the actual Midas skin looked like so I guess we're gonna just go ahead and make this video very long we're gonna go through everything added in this update so firstly for some of the skins we won't be able to actually show the edit styles so you know for example Zeus and all that stuff we won't really be looking at those but we will be looking at some of the non battle pass skins starting off with Odyssey the actual rank skin of the season I don't actually know how you're gonna get this skin or if they remove the ranked part from it or anything else but you have the normal design and then you have the helmet enable design right there which is a very interesting interesting little you know unique theme they've got going on here we actually have an upcoming little guard for Ares which is going to be April 2024's crew pack skin as we go down here we have the Midas skin right here which is going to be for the spring activation event the spring event is going to be all based around Midas and his entire crew including T and Tina Jules Meowsles all this type of people we have some more guards you can find around the island this one I wish was just a skin normally because it's very aesthetically pleasing at least with the outfit design another guard right there and then we have the Discotech Maniac skin right here, which is a brand new version of Maniac they'll be releasing in the item shop soon. And it has this whole entire disco theme going on. And we have Prince Anwar, which actually has a variant for the mask on and off right here, as you can see. And Princess Nora, which has a variant for the hijab to be on or off, and then for the mask to be on or off as well. And you can mix and match those as well. Now, apparently, according to Twitter, this is for Ramadan. I'm not really too familiar with all that stuff, so, you know, I'm just going to assume that's what it's for. So, you know, if I'm a little wrong there hey whatever but we still got some pretty cool skins releasing very very soon and it's nice to see just more representation of all different types of culture here in fortnite now for the back blings we have ourselves the snake bite key ring which we already showed but we have some tbd capes that aren't actually available for you to use right now maybe these will become back blings later down the line or maybe they're only for the npcs on the island but there's the first one and then this is the second one right here as you can see it still kind of has that whole entire design going on with the whole gold or whatever 
whatever else. But that is two of the different capes. We have our eternal ranker back bling right here, which is the rank reward for this season. The back bling that will show your highest division and everything. Got a little bit of green at the bottom, which makes it very interesting. But I do think this season I got to go for champs just to have that red green mixture going on with it. We have the lunar lantern back bling. We got ourselves the Mirror Ball back bling, which actually goes with that new Maniac skin we just showed, uh, or Maddox skin we just showed. We got the Moonlit ba Blades back bling. And then over here, we have the Hoppa Sack back bling, which has been re-added to the files after originally being removed. This was at one point going to be used in the game for Rainbow Royale and everything else, but there was, you know, some controversy regarding the skin and the creator of the skin that was supposed to release back then. So they removed it, but it's been added back to the game files. And then next up, we have right here, the Rose of Avarice back bling, which will be a reward for the whole entire Midas event that's going on soon. For pickaxes, we have all the ones you've kind of already seen, but we have the challenge your staff pickaxe will actually show your highest rank on this season so that's very cool to see considering last season's pickaxe did not show your highest rank for that season and then we go over here we have some other stuff like the gilded vengeance pickaxe which is a reskin version of an old old chapter one pickaxe but to match the whole entire golden theme we also have the final cleavers right here which have a very simplistic design going on the reckoners blades right here very simplistic design as well and then the night blade pickaxe as well so a a lot of decent themes going on here and I love all the craziness going on but let's talk about some of the crazier parts of this update firstly we have the queen and gold control or I guess glider right here which is a reskin version of the jailbird glider from ages ago or you know the rapscallion glider or whatever else you want to call it but this is going to be a free reward for the whole entire Midas event we have ourselves the sea chariot glider right here which I think is actually going to be something that's in the battle pass I'm not entirely for sure I might have already showed it off but it has the exact same theme as the poseidon skin as we go over here we have the shadows bite thing which i already showed you guys but then we have the olympian glider this will be your wind glider for chapter 5 season 2 however if you play ranked mode you can get the pantheon ranker glider which is a super super insanely sick version of that glider now something very very important to mention about the ranked cup gliders this season is that the ranked cup glider that you earn for 75 points will only show your highest rank that you played the cup in so if you played bronze ranked cup for this season but you're platinum and zero build or something else it will be the bronze version of the glider if you play the unreal version of the cup and you're actually you know deranked bronze or whatever else it will be the unreal version so keep that in mind this will be the highest rank you had during the time you played the cup and depending on what actual mode you played it in so you can't go ahead and get unreal rank in zero build and then play the bronze cup for the reward you have to play unreal ranked zero build cup as well in order to get that unreal ranked variant but it is very interesting to see how they put a lot more effort into the ranked glider this time around compared to the normal one for controls we kind of already showed all that stuff we don't really have any new auras so let's go over to new emotes we have a lot of stuff that i've kind of already shown you but we also have this afk emote which is which is pretty nice you know it's just I should, just, I should just walk away right now, shouldn't I? I just kind of peace out, be like, hey guys, you know, I'm, I'm not really needed here. You know, just kind of vanish out of existence here. But of course, that's not what we're going to do, right? We're not going to go AFK or anything like that. But it is nice to see we have a cute little emote for that kind of mechanic or, you know, just kind of that meme type thing. We have... Okay, well, that is copyrighted, so I can't really play that. But uh, I, I assume you guys can kind of understand what that emote was. Hold on one second. All right, I went ahead and muted copyrighted audio. Let's see, will this work? Okay, there we go. We can actually look at the emote without it having any copyrighted audio, but the song If We Ever Broke Up uh, is actually going to be getting an icon emote in the near future, so that's interesting to see. I wonder, is this another one? No, it's kind of like the exact same version, so that is very interesting to see. But with that said, that's all the brand new emotes in the game. Let's go over to the wraps, which I think I practically showed everything off to you guys. Yeah, we have a few things like the point and flow wrap right here, the moonlit piece wrap right here, which is animated. We have some other things that I think I've already shown you guys we have the leith wrap right here which i'm pretty sure i showed the forsaken eye wrap which if we can go ahead and equip it can we actually fire this yeah we can i don't really see where the reactivity is at all but that is one of the new wraps in the game gilded heart i'm pretty sure we already showed off so you know nothing too crazy going on over there for the music packs we have those three i just mentioned to you then over here for the loading screens we have aphrodite we have ourselves artemis we got ourselves Cerberus, we have Conqueror Zeus, we have Immortal Hades, we have Immortal Artemis, we have ourselves Immortal Aphrodite, Hades, we have Gorgon Warrior Medusa, 
We have Phil the Sting, M Immortal Poseidon, Medusa again, Poseidon. We have Rise of the Pantheon. We have the Olympus or Olympians, and then we have Zeus. So we have a lot of loading screens going on to kind of theme everything else around here. For the new vehicles, we got the Dominus GT, we got the Mako, and we actually have the Amiral. Now for Wills, we have a lot of new ones. We got Blender, we got Callius or Callisus, we have the Cephalopod, we have Chainlink, we got Hyperhum, we got Blender. We have Scrimmy and we have TriCast. For Trails, we have ourselves the Light Speed right here and Sea Spray. For Boost, we have ourselves Eon and we actually have Sea Spray as well. So a decent amount of cosmetics right there. But with that said, hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's recap of all the new stuff in the game. I'm going to go quickly post a video of the new Icon Emo and I'll see you guys a little bit later with another upload. Peace out.